You must be pleased to get over the line with that one. Yeah, it's a big three points for us today, especially with the results yesterday, Brighton drawing and uh, Leicester getting beat. So um, we haven't really spoke about that. We spoke about the importance of the two games and we spoke about uh, just focusing on Reading, getting three points um, and delighted that we did that today. Yeah, and clean sheets as well, that must be really pleasing. Yeah, no, it is. It is because uh, I thought defensively our shape was good today. Um, we did restrict them to set plays, and they're so dangerous. We did probably a day on crossing, half a day on set plays because look, we've considered too many from crosses lately. Um, and, and I felt, I said it to players after the game, the way we've trained in the last two weeks since Man United, and even the players that haven't got on the pitch, they've had such a valuable. Um, input into into today's result and even the performance last week to a certain extent um, just goes to show how together we are as a group and how unselfish some people are and um, you know I've got 11 that I can pick and it's tough to pick 11 um, so from you know 1 through to 25 I'm proud of everyone yeah. and you spoke after the West Ham game about the difference Fuka's made in terms of playing in the number six and allowing Bo and Kerry to get forward and obviously they both got on the score sheet today. Yes, um, the Fuka coming in has helped. I mean, she's yeah, she, she's a diamond, you know. I mean, on the ball, even off the ball, she's surprisingly quick as well and she, she sees things that maybe other people don't see. So as this team evolves and as she settles in and as she's settled in fantastically, by the way, if you look at her performance today, um, we're only going to get better. And then it's just in terms of next week, obviously give you confidence going into that now. Yeah, listen, look, we're, we're, I've said this from day one, we're not naive. We're, we, we understand probably where we are on this journey in the WSL. We've taken points off Reading away and at home. You know, we drew with Brighton away. Um, we've beaten West Ham. So teams right. that we feel that are in and around us, we've got points from. And right. ultimately... When you play the top teams, yes, OK, we give a good account of ourselves. Yes, we're frustrated that we don't win these games, but the gap from top to bottom is massive. And I think it's, it's evident and clear to see. Um, and the amount of times people ask me about the gap, it took teams three years to even get in that position where they are. So, look, our, our aim is to stay in the division. We've given ourselves an unbelievable chance with today's three points. Obviously, we've, we'll be on 11 now. Um, and we think 12 13 is going to be the magic number. So if we get three points next week, then we will all, all, always continue to keep working hard and to finish the league table as we can. But it was always going to be a process. It was always going to take time for us to, to really fulfil the potential at this level. And obviously Leicester have, have brought in four or five new players since the original yeah. game would have been scheduled. So I guess it, you know, it's a little bit of a different... Completely different game, completely different team. I thought they... Out of possession, they did well yesterday. They frustrated Man City, and I know Man City probably could have scored more goals, but then Leicester could have gone in front as well. So look, it's not going to be an easy game, um, but the pressure's on them more so than us now. We're the ones that have got points on board. We're the ones that are in a good position. So for them, it is to come here. That it's a must-win game for them. So from our perspective, we'll just concentrate on ourselves like we've done the last two weeks, to prepare as best we can, and give ourselves the best opportunity to win the game. Thanks, Mark. Right. See you for me. You've had probably the toughest run of games you could have had in, in the last few weeks, and you know you said yourself the team aren't naive coming in today. They knew how big it was, and it was almost a little bit nervy first ten minutes. How how proud are you of, of sort of the mental aspect and, and the resilience of this side in the face of what was a, a really big game? Yeah, I think we've shown character so many times this year. I, like I thought we actually started the game quite well, um, but then as I say, when Red are a team that are organised, they're hard working. Um, they can be quite direct. I think you know it's a lot of set plays, um, second balls, um, and it's effective. It really is effective. And I felt we dealt with that threat really well today. We didn't do that well enough when we played them at home, and we learnt from that. Um, but look, 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 as I said, like this team is a together team. I think you can see that. Um, and I feel, as I say, like the top team, the gap is big, and we're doing okay against these teams. Apart from probably two performances all year, um, we, we, we've done well. Just a word on Neve, because obviously the two girls did a great job at the back today, but yeah. how was she? Yeah, so Friday she got a little tear in her calf, max two weeks we think. Hopefully she'll be available next week, but we'll, we'll see. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Just going to ask what you, you said to the team at half time. 
Uh, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I take a that. Yeah, if you want. Uh, no, we, we spoke about just obviously um, the communication and the talking. Um, we spoke about the tempo of our play with, when, when we're to, under a press, you've got to move it quickly. But what we was doing, we was playing down one side and then staying down that side when the space was to go out and then switch it out. And I think we did it well at the start, did it well a couple of times, but Fuka was on a lot or Jazz or Meg stepping into them positions, we could have come out and, and, and switched it round. We showed them the clips at half time of the spaces where we could go in and go out on one touch um, because they pressed to try and pin you in one side and have everyone in sort of one, one half of the pitch. So when we did switch it out, then it was then stretching and trying to get in behind. Uh, but the big thing for me was just the talking. So the times we could have set it off or we could have turned or we could have spun. Little things like that. Um, and I felt we did better with that second half.